This week, extraordinary in Washington. Next week will at least be busy on Capitol Hill. Congress will take up a number of controversial issues, including the $10 billion Homeland Security contract that was awarded to Bermuda-based Accenture, the contract part of the Homeland Security Appropriations Bill. That's just one of several key items on the legislative agenda next week. Lisa Sylvester has more for us now from Washington, D.C. Lisa. Lou, this week was unusual. There was no part partisan bickering. Everyone was getting along, pausing to remember President Ronald Reagan. But all it takes is one or two divisive issues for both parties to be their usual selves again. Topping the list for next week is the corporate tax bill in the House. This bill repeals a $50 billion tax break that the World Trade Organization prohibited and replaces it with $140 billion in tax cuts for manufacturers. Critics say this bill does not do enough for small American manufacturers, and they argue the big winners here are really large corporations. Also on the House side is the Homeland Security Department Appropriations Bill. It's tentatively scheduled to head to the Rules Committee next week. An amendment to the bill would prevent companies that set up shell corporations outside the United States from receiving contracts. And as was mentioned earlier in the program, last week Accenture, based in Bermuda, was awarded a contract up to $10 billion by the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, other items briefly, the energy bill also will be taken up uh, by the Senate. Uh, with gasoline prices topping $2 a gallon, Republican members of the House hope to pressure the Senate to act on the bill before the summer recess. And on the Senate side, lawmakers will be debating the defense reauthorization bill. Part of that debate will include whether to increase President Bush's request of $25 billion for the war in Iraq. Some Democrats say, though, if the administration needs more money, it should just ask for it now. Lou? And one doesn't hesitate to, uh, to think that they will ask for it. Lisa Sylvester, thank you very much. Taking a look now at some of your thoughts, we've received a great deal of viewer email about that multi-billion dollar contract awarded to Accenture. Cassandra Drakenberg of Ector, Texas, thank you for your continued coverage of the Accenture debacle. It's outrageous that this government continues to abandon the American worker. Gray Van S. of Green Bay, Wisconsin, keep up your excellent reporting on the loss of our jobs to foreign countries and the offshoring of corporate interests to cut taxes owed here. Why is our government not looking out for the workers of our country? Does the almighty buck conquer decency, patriotism, and the courage to do what is right? Rich Bakke of Semi Valley, California. It is a sad statement regarding the lack of integrity and support that our elected officials exhibit for the very people that elected them and are paid to represent. Send us your thoughts at ludobs at cnn.com. Still ahead here, a tribute to two great Americans and heroes tonight. The remarkable story of a Marine wounded in Iraq who says he can't wait to return to battle. We'll bring you his story in just a moment. Please stay with us.